The lion, a powerful predator and king of the jungle, is renowned for its strength and ferocity. Its reign at the top of the food chain is undisputed, with most animals wisely steering clear of this deadly cat. But what if an unsuspecting creature happens to stumble into the lion's territory? Would it meet a certain death? Not necessarily. From a honey badger showing us who is the real king, to a reptile that has a terrifyingly unique method to take down any creature it pleases, here are 20 animals that can defeat a lion. Number 20. Anaconda Another fantasy fight combo, the anaconda lives in South America and the lion in Africa, so these guys are more likely to come into contact in a goofy action movie starring Nicolas Cage rather than in reality. But let's see what these two giants of the animal kingdom bring to the ring. Anacondas are massive snakes, literally the biggest on the planet. They can grow to a monstrous 550 pounds and 70 feet long. To get this big, these serpents need to eat big prey, and amongst their favorite meals, they enjoy eating deer, wild pigs, caimans, and the occasional jaguar. Although a big cat, a jaguar is no match for a lion. They weigh about half as much as the savanna lion, and anacondas are constrictors. They are not venomous. They coil themselves around their prey and squeeze until the creature asphyxiates, and then they swallow the prey whole. So maybe this is why they are called lion killers. In a fight between these two monster-sized killers, an anaconda may be the more likely victor. If the snake is able to wrap around the lion, the lion is going to struggle to fight back for long, even with all the claws and teeth at its disposal. But what do you think? Which technique is the deadliest? Let me know all about it in the comments down below. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Black Panther the panther is a highly intelligent and nimble creature that is rarely spotted in the wild due to its elusive nature. Its dark fur acts as camouflage, blending into the surrounding forest, and providing excellent cover during the night. Being a solitary animal, it prefers to stay hidden and rest high up in trees during the daylight hours. Panthers are excellent climbers and can keep a watchful eye out for prey while remaining hidden. They're known for their strength, fearlessness, and aggression, which makes them feared by many. In the wild, panthers and lions are in competition for the same food sources, they hunt the same prey animals, and are therefore less likely to hunt each other, and more likely to avoid being in the same territory. In a fight, they would pretty evenly be matched in strength, agility, and teeth, so panthers found in Africa and Asia, may face danger from other carnivores like lions and hyenas, but the most significant threat to their survival is, of course, humans. But what do you think? Which of these awesome big cats would you bet on? Let me know down below, and subscribe for more great videos like this one in the future. Number 18. Silverback Gorilla Gorillas and lions would most likely never actually encounter each other in the wild. Gorillas live in the mountainous areas of Africa, whereas lions live predominantly in the savanna grasslands. But if you want to know which of the two mightiest of creatures would win in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, well, we could have a look at how that might go down. Silverback gorillas are super intimidating. Full-grown males can be six feet tall, weigh anywhere up to 500 pounds, and they're not to be messed with. The thing is, though, so these guys are actually vegetarians. That doesn't mean that they aren't able to snap an opponent like a twig, it just means that they're not really interested in eating them afterwards. The lion, though, does kill to eat, so that makes him a different sort of opponent. Weighing around the same as a silverback gorilla, an African lion is fairly evenly matched. If a lion were to use its stealth to attack a gorilla, it would definitely have the upper hand, but if the gorilla was aware of the lion, then it has much more stamina and would eventually wear out the attacking lion. So there's not a lot in it really. The mighty strength of the gorilla might swing it in his favor, but the lion has all the hunting moves. I'll leave it up for you to decide. Number 17. 
honey badgers. Now everyone knows that honey badgers are psychos. That just goes without saying. But did you know that these nutters are also basically completely fearless? They're in possession of some of the toughest, most robust skin in the animal kingdom, and they're notoriously difficult to take down, even for the sharpest tooth predator out there. They're almost bulletproof and can certainly deflect arrows, spears, and machetes, so animal bites mean nothing to them, and a silly little snake is no trouble to these savages. Even if they do get bitten, it would make no difference to these animals because they have an adaptation that means that they're not vulnerable to venom and have defenses against the neurotoxins that are present in snake bites. So what with the bulletproof skin, the lack of total whiz given about deadly snakes, and the general giving of zero chuffs about, well, anything at all, it's no wonder that our old clipboard clutching pals at the Guinness Book of World Records have deemed the honey badger to be the world's most fearless creature. So seeing this one take on a gang of deadly apex predators should really come as no surprise surprise, these creatures give no chuffs whatsoever and have all the time in the world to prove it. They are, after all, pretty hardcore and fairly indestructible, even to a big old load of lions. Also, be sure to like and subscribe, or the honey badger is going to get mad. Number 16. Hippos in general, if you pit a lion against most other animals, you would probably expect that lion to come out as the victor. That king of the jungle thing isn't for nothing, you know. And if you have three lions, well, you would expect that to be obvious, except for in this video. This time around, the lions are getting out of their comfort zone, but they're climbing right into the territory of an animal that pulls no punches when it comes to expressing its own disgruntlement. These big beasts are really aggressive, but they mostly use their jaws to eat plants, up to 80 pounds of grass a day. Hippos are generally herbivores, although they do sometimes eat dead animals, which includes the occasional hippo. Yikes! A grumpy hippo will show its displeasure by opening its mouth really wide in a super threatening manner or by charging towards the source of its irritation. Either way, they may look cute, but keep a safe distance because these creatures can be fatally bad-tempered. And when they're in the water, hippos turn into fast and graceful sorts of creatures with just as much power and bite force as they do on land. And in this case, they have these lions right where they want them. This hippo removes these lions from the watering hole with swift efficiency. These lions don't look quite so impressive as they usually do. And even though that looks like a grin, these guys are not as friendly as they seem. Interactions with humans can be fatal, hippo attacks kill as many as 500 people a year, and these deadly animals are fiercely territorial. They will defend their space with the use of deadly force without a second thought. Number 15. Nile Crocodile this is a battle of toothsome proportions. Two of the deadliest creatures going head to head makes for a dangerous match indeed. So if the crocodile has the most powerful jaws of all the animals, but the lion is the king of that same kingdom, well then who wins? Lions often hunt in groups, so this would give them significant advantage over the single, less mobile crocodile. But if that fight was one on one, well a battle between a lion and a croc could actually go either way. Crocodile is a fearsome creature. If it has the first bite and can get a hold of the lion, its insanely powerful bite could grip tight, allowing the strong crocodile to drag the lion into the water and drown it. Yikes! That is brutal! The crocodile also has a certain element of surprise in its favor as well. They can hide in the shallows and then suddenly emerge to grab a passing animal. Of course the lion has loads of dangerous skills that make it a deadly opponent in a battle with a big old croc. Lions are more agile, and if they're able to jump onto the crocodile before the croc can clamp down with its deadly jaws, well that's when the lion can get the upper hand. It's just all a matter of who gets the first bite in this match. First bite and last laugh. Number 14. Rhinos you know how it goes. You've been having a bath at the local watering hole when a group of flipping lions turn up and start threatening to eat you. Now, 
they have no respect for your privacy and they kind of just hang around waiting for you to get out of the water. No offer of a towel or anything. The cheek of it all. So bored by their idle threats, you eventually resign yourself to that being the end of your relaxing soak. These lions begin trying to have a go at you. I mean, seriously, have they not seen your epic frame? So three against one looks like the lions probably have got this one in the bag. However, they do have a go, but the rhino has a tough skin, up to a couple inches thick even, and she is also massive and powerful with a really pointy horn. And when the mighty rhino is out of the water and on equal footing with the lions, she simply outsmarts them. In fact, she just chases them in a couple of little circles and leaves the bewildered big cats in the dust. It's awesome to see, and that incredible creature also barely breaks a sweat. Number 13. African Elephant with all of their years of experience, and they can live to an average of 65 years, older elephants have a few tricks up their sleeves. Lions are capable of killing elephants. The size of a male lion means that even a single lion has the power to take an elephant down, although lions will usually work within a group in order to hunt one. Lions usually take younger elephants and females because they tend to be smaller and therefore easier to wrestle with. Scientists conducted some experiments to see how elephants responded to lions. They played recordings of lions roaring, and the older female elephants reacted first, and the rest of the herd would draw in closer. The eldest of females that were 60 years or more recognized and responded most quickly to the roar of the male lion. Their lifetime of experience had taught them to recognize different dangers by slightly different sounds of a roar. Elephants are the strongest of all land animals, and not much can survive their tree-felling strength. Even a lion can be overcome by a stampeding elephant. But it seems as though the elephant's best defense is using its brain power. Working together to protect the whole herd, elephants' experience can literally save their lives. So it is true then, an elephant never forgets. Number 12. Cape Buffalo Cape Buffalo have got this defense strategy sussed. They're constantly on the lion's radar for lunch, so they've had to develop some mad skills to beat off lion attacks. Let's see what they can do. The sheer size of a buffalo is their biggest weapon. They can use their massive weight and big old horns to deadly effect when they encounter a lion. African buffalo can weigh up to 1,900 pounds and might be as big as 11 feet long. They hang around in massive herds, traveling together makes things safer, and they're awesome swimmers, so this is one of the ways that they can avoid even coming into contact with a water-averse lion. One of their coolest lion prevention techniques is the white birds that often travel on the buffalo's backs, ox peckers. They feed on insects that like to live in a buffalo, but they're also like an early warning system for an imminent big cat attack. They hiss whenever a lion is near. So these are the ways that they can avoid a lion altogether, but just how deadly is the buffalo? Well, these guys don't mess about. If they do come across a pride of sleeping lazy lions, they simply charge right over them. This will actually kill or even injure those that get trapped under the stampeding herd or scatter the rest of them, causing chaos and confusion. So the buffalo's motto is surely offense is the best defense. And I sure wouldn't want to offend one of these big guys. Number 11. Hyenas. A pack of hyenas can be a scary thing, even for an African lion. The thing with lions and hyenas is that they basically hate each other. The two species are in competition for food and have even been known to attempt to steal a fresh kill from one another. So how do they fare in a fight? Well, hyenas are usually in a massive pack. They're safety in numbers, for starters. But these animals also know that when they work together, they're much stronger and more effective hunters. We've seen lions doing exactly the same thing. And the thing is, sometimes lions get a bit overconfident. It's probably all the king of the jungle chat that's going to their heads. A lone lion becomes a target for a pack of hyenas, and even a massive male lion has reason to be nervous about that. Hyenas will circle a lion, hooting and hollering, gradually poking and prodding at the big cat, and getting more confident and wearing the lion down. It's very hard to get away from a pack of hyenas, and they have every route covered. They'll begin taking turns turns nipping at and biting the trapped lion, and this simply becomes a numbers game. The hyenas are so effective in a pack, but then chuck in a few more lions and their tactics have to adapt. A few lions means that the hyenas have to go for each other individually and thinning the lion's numbers chasing them off. It's pretty creepy just how efficient these creatures are, like a bunch of mocking bullies circling and laughing. Ugh, it's so chilling. 
Number 10. Giraffes Looking at a long-legged giraffe, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this extraordinary creature, although beautiful, is not one of the most well-equipped to kill. But look again. There are loads of animals in the African savanna that want to catch and eat giraffes. They're pretty tasty and make a big meal as well. And so, the lanky giraffe has had to develop a particularly effective technique to protect themselves and their young. They have no pointy tusks, antlers, or claws, so how do they do it? Their secret weapon is in their long legs. They have a kick that's so powerful that they'll actually kill a predator if they land a foot in the right spot. So lots of savanna predators don't choose the giraffe for dinner unless they're very inexperienced or if there isn't an easier catch that's available. More often than not, a giraffe can simply outrun another animal, so that's their first line of defense. And they also have great eyesight, so even if a predator thinks they'll try their luck, it's likely that the giraffe will spot them and leg it out before they can even get close. If a creature does attempt to take down a giraffe, they're really risking a proper wallop, and that might even kill them. The giraffe should probably come with a warning label. Number 9. The Wildebeest in the wild, a fight between a lion and a wildebeest is a classic struggle of predator versus prey. But don't get too quick to count the wildebeest out. Despite the lion's powerful jaws and sharp claws, the wildebeest has a few tricks up its sleeve. The key to a wildebeest's success is staying upright. Even if a lion manages to take a wildebeest down to the ground, it can still fight back. With massive shoulders, huge pointy horns, and a weight advantage, a wildebeest can use its strength to overpower a lion. If a wildebeest beast manages to shake off a lion and stand its ground, that lion should be wary. A charging wildebeest is not something to be taken lightly, and a lion that doesn't back down could end up impaled on those deadly horns. So if you're a lion facing off against a wildebeest, just remember, the fight is far from over, and you may want to think twice before taking on this formidable opponent. Number 8. Zebra it's not often that a zebra can walk away from a lion attack, but every once in a while, a zebra can land that perfect kick and beat a hasty retreat. That's just how this zebra fought off a massive maned lion and left relatively unscathed. It looks like all the lion attacking zebra scenes that you've witnessed before. I mean, we mostly know how this one will end. A bit of a scuffle, a deadly bite, followed by a bit of throat ripping, all before the inevitable pictures of zebra bits and blood-smeared lions looking pleased with themselves. But this zebra Zebra had seen that movie too many times, and he was in no mood to become the messy lunch feast of the local pride. In a terrifying moment, the lion had grabbed a hold of the zebra, and it looked like a done deal. But then, the squirming zebra shook the lion loose and delivered an almighty double-hoofed blow to the surprised lion's face. To add insult to injury, the stunned lion promptly landed in a muddy puddle. The zebra then hoofed it right up out of there. Now, I don't know whether the zebra could actually produce a kick that will kill a lion, but this lion certainly died a little social death and went home with his tail between his legs. Number 7. Porcupines now, how does a rodent that weighs about 40 pounds fend off or even kill a mighty big cat that weighs 400 pounds? It seems like there's no way that it could happen. On paper, the lion has it all, the strength, the speed, and the size, but the rodent in question is a porcupine, and these prickly little creatures will have a unique and sometimes deadly weapon at their disposal. You would think that lions would have stopped trying to eat porcupines by now, because it rarely ends well for them. Porcupines, as you probably know are covered in really sharp quills. These prickly sticks can poke into a persistent lion, which does sound uncomfortable, but these sharp pokers can actually cause fatal injuries. If one pierces the lion's heart or even a major artery, that cat will literally bleed to death. And the porcupine? It will probably just trot away, minus a quill or two. That instant death spear isn't the only way that an encounter with a porcupine can end up in big trouble for a lion. Scientists have discovered that lions, which have porcupine quills stuck in them, can suffer from long-term issues. They may find it hard to hunt, depending on where the quills are lodged, and this can make them more likely to attack a human or a livestock, both of which usually spell death for the lion. A man-eating lion that was killed in 1965 had a porcupine quill stuck right up its nose. Ouch! The lion had been unable to hunt, and his sense of smell was damaged, so he killed a human, and that was the end of him. Death by a thousand pokes, or even just one well-placed spike. Number 6. Tigers 
In claw-to-claw -claw combat, the tiger is a formidable opponent. There are many recorded tiger victories against the supposed king of the jungle, and in ancient Rome, the two big cats were often placed in one-on-one -on -one fight to the death battles. Art depicting the fights generally showed the tiger as the victor. And in more contemporary confrontations, the tiger still seems to have the deadliest of moves. While the tiger and the lion appear fairly well-matched in terms of teeth and speed, as well as general size, the tiger is an extremely powerful and muscular animal. So, in a fight against a single individual lion, the tiger has definitely gotten the upper paw. In 2011, at Ankara Zoo in Turkey, a tiger found its way into the lion's enclosure and was witnessed killing a lion with a single, ruthlessly efficient swipe of the paw. The tiger managed to sever the lion's jugular vein, and with one swing of its super sharp claws, it was brutal. But as tigers, like many of the other big cats, are generally solitary, the lion, again, has the advantage of their group mentality. These guys do know that there is strength in numbers and will use it to their best. Number 5. Grizzly Bears now, what would happen if a North American grizzly bear bumped into an African lion? Well, either a hilarious punchline would happen, or there just might be an epic fight. In the 19th century, an animal trainer by the name of Boone had a man-eating lion and a bit of a reputation, and he arranged a spectacle which would test the answer of that very question, and a crowd assembled to witness the fight between a 550-pound African lion and a 700-pound American grizzly bear. Boone had starved the lion for a couple of days before just to make sure that it would be extra hungry and aggressive. The noise of the crowd and the intense desert heat made sure that both the lion and the bear were stressed out. They were released into a ring, and the lion tore into the bear first with its claws and then its teeth. It was an unholy mess of blood and fur. That bear used its enormous strength to hold the lion, eventually picking it up and throwing it. The lion hit its head and was knocked out, and although both animals survived the encounter, it could have very well ended in death of either or both of them. The fighting of animals for sport is pretty disgusting, really. Bloodthirsty and barbaric, the practice of putting different species together to watch them tear each other apart goes all the way back to ancient Rome and the battles that were staged in the Colosseum. Now, I don't know what you think, but I reckon it's one thing for an animal to defend itself against a lion in the wild. It's something quite different for humans to provoke a deadly battle for entertainment. Number 4. Leopard Although leopards and lions are both big cats, lions are generally bigger and stronger, and with the benefit of living and working in a pride. The leopard, however, doesn't seem to have too much to fear from a lion. They're often hunted by them, although it's been known, usually the worst will happen and frequently does, is that a leopard puts in all the effort of hunting and killing its meal only to have a group of lazy lions come in and pitch it off. That's right, lions lounge around all day and then can't even be bothered to catch their own dinner. Just wait until the leopard has done all the work and then relieve them of their efforts. This might be why leopards are such efficient climbers and are known to haul their prey up a tree in order to keep it out of the reach of other animals, which includes lions and hyenas who are on the scavenge. What gives the leopard an edge over their big cat rivals is their extremely stealthy style. They're nocturnal and generally hunt at night, so when that's combined with their ability to camouflage and creep without being noticed at all, it makes them a fairly tricky opponent. As usual though, the lion does have an advantage of hanging around in a big group, and that's enough to put off all but the most reckless of leopards. Meow. Number 3. Komodo Dragon Komodo dragons are huge, but it's easy to find out their weight. They do come with scales, after all. <laughs> They can weigh more than 3,000 pounds, but when you consider that these guys can eat 80% of their own weight in just one meal, that explains how they manage to get such an impressive size. Oh, and these big monitor lizards are psychos. I mean, seriously, they have some of the most ruthless and downright terrifying murder skills in the animal kingdom. Even though they may look quite cute and entertaining at times, the Komodo dragon has a nasty and venomous bite, which means that even if their prey manages to escape their powerful jaws, they still are in deep, deep trouble. The venom works slowly, causing gradual paralysis for the unfortunate recipient until they're eventually rendered completely helpless. That's when the dragon will begin its feast. So, if a Komodo dragon were to encounter a lion, then it could end pretty badly for the king of the jungle and result in a slow and painful death, and possibly watching as the lizard eats bits of its own body. Ugh. Number 2. The Jaguar 
The muscular and powerful jaguar can grow up to be about six feet long and is only slightly smaller than the biggest of the big cats, that being tigers and lions. These majestic animals live in a different part of the world from a lion, so the likelihood of these two creatures ever meeting in the wild is pretty remote. But if they were to go head to head, who would win? Well, as the jaguar stalks the land in Central America, some of their prey can be fairly hefty and dangerous itself. I mean, taking on a giant caiman, and these guys often do, and winning is kind of awesome. They have huge heads and extraordinarily powerful jaws, complete with a set of dangerously pointy teeth, and where the lion may well be heavier and therefore potentially more dominant, the jaguar is very fast and has excellent climbing skills. Where a lion will do almost anything to avoid a bath, the jaguar jaguar loves to swim. A jaguar is a stealthy hunter and will generally stalk silently before landing one decisive attacking blow. Oh, and they also have one insane death-making move as well, those powerful jaws, which they use to bite into the skull of their large prey, sinking their teeth into the victim's brain and making it, well, instantly dead. So if the jaguar did encounter a lion, it would all depend on if that lion saw it coming or not, or it could be curtains for that lion in the end. Number 1. The King Cobra it takes a brave creature to take on a king cobra. The cobra's venomous bite causes paralysis and contains enough toxin to cause cardiac arrest or respiratory failure. So getting into a fight with one of these is never a good idea, even if you happen to be a big and scary lion. But what if a king cobra and a lion entered a ring for a fight? Well, the odds are pretty even, really. While the lion has a mighty bite force, it would need to sneak up on that cobra and land a quick bite on the head or the neck to win. However, if if the cobra gets the chance to strike back, the lion is then in trouble because just one bite from a king cobra can take down even the strongest of lions. But let's face it, a cobra versus a lion fight is really unlikely. These two creatures wouldn't bother with each other in the wild, the king cobra is more interested in munching on other snakes, and the lion knows better than to mess with a venomous reptile. They're just too smart for that. And on top of all that, they live on different continents. So while it may be fun to imagine this matchup, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. That's all from the deadly battles of lions and their surprising enemies. Which of these incredible creatures would you like to see defeat the king of the jungle? As always, let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.